Around the holidays, I know there is so much to do and with Thanksgiving, the meal can be such a large preparation. But I do not think you wanna forget about the drinks. And that is why I think it can be so fun and actually kind of simple to throw together a punch. That way you don't have to worry about individual drinks, but you have this great drink that everyone can have. And come on, a punch bowl is so festive and beautiful and we just do not use them enough anymore. So I am bringing the punch bowl back this year. You can dust yours off from the basement because I know it's gonna be put away and you can make a delicious punch. And this is an amazing pomegranate and orange champagne punch. And it is amazing and I can't wait for all of us to have it. To start, you just wanna make a little bit of a ginger infused simple syrup. You've probably noticed that I have used ginger a lot this Thanksgiving and it's because I think it is such a great item to use. It really is a fun flavor and it brings out so many other flavors and marries really well with tart flavors. So to start, I'm gonna put a little bit of pomegranate juice in a small kettle and then add a little bit of sugar. And then on top of that, you just wanna peel some ginger and just use the back of a spoon, peel it. We've done this before, you know how to do it. And then cut up the ginger right into that simple syrup. To finish off, I like to add one cinnamon stick just for a little hint of that spice, but not too much, and then put it right on the stove. You just want that to come to a low simmer, make sure the sugar dissolves, and then you're gonna let it steep and let that ginger just soak in that flavor and exude it into that pomegranate juice as it cools off to room temperature. While the simple syrup is coming up to heat, you can just prepare one of the garnishes, which is of course, pomegranate seeds. I know you see these beautiful fruits come into the grocery stores this time of year, and maybe you buy them just to eat, maybe you have other uses for them, or maybe you just look at them and think, oh, those are pretty, but never really get around to doing anything with them. Well, it really isn't that hard. Just cut around the perimeter of the fruit and then take it apart so you have two halves. Now, there are a lot of things out there. Some people hit the back with a spoon and get the seeds out. I've tried that, maybe that works for you, and if it does, you need to teach me how to do it. I honestly just go in, take the half apart, and start taking all the seeds out with my thumbs and fingers. To me, this really works the best, but do whatever works for you. Set that aside for the garnish and then just remove your simple syrup from the heat. Now just let it cool down to room temperature and this way it will steep and let all that ginger flavor come out. While your simple syrup is cooling, we can prepare the rest of the punch. You can use any punch bowl you have. I happen to have just this clear glass one. It's beautiful, it shows the colors. Use what you have and you will rock it. To start, just put in your pre-squeezed and bought in pomegranate juice. As you can see, it really is so easy when you pre-buy it like that. So I really just don't get why you wouldn't. Throw it in there and then pour in some orange juice. I love these two flavors put together. And around the holidays, orange is just an amazing flavor, isn't it? Once you have the orange juice and the pomegranate juice in there, you can put in a little bit of liqueur. Now you can of course leave out the liqueurs if you wanna make this kid friendly or make a kid friendly version, or if you just don't like alcohol. But I really do love the flavors. So I start with a little bit of Campari. Campari has a little bit of a bitter undertone which really marries well with pomegranates. And then you wanna add in some rum. I like a nice dark rum, but use whatever you like. A white rum really works well here too. Next, just put in your room temperature simple syrup. And as I'm putting it in, I just put it through a strainer to make sure I get out all those ginger pieces and the cinnamon stick. After those are in there, I just like to prepare some limes and oranges just to lay on top. Before I slice the oranges and the limes, I make sure to just take off a little bit of the zest with a peeler and I just like to float it in the punch. I really think it exudes some of the oils that way and really flavors it. And it looks kind of nice. Let's be honest, it's about the looks around the holidays. Then just slice the fruit up and lay it in there. And you don't have to do this step, but I love to have a prepared ice mold or ice ring for my punch. One, I don't like just to throw normal water ice cubes because they just water down the punch and that's no good. 
And let's be honest, a punch ring looks so beautiful. So all I did was take a bump pan, a decorative one of course, put in some pomegranate seeds in the bottom, a few mint leaves, and then threw in some pomegranate juice and orange juice and then threw that in the freezer. That way when you put this prepared ice mold into your punch, it's not gonna water it down, but just keep flavoring it. Um, perfect. To unmold it, I just run it under hot water, then pop it right out and put it in the punch. To finish this off, after that ice ring is in there, I put in the champagne. You can use any sort of bubble you like, if it's a Prosecco, a champagne, but I do like to use a drier one just because there's already a lot of sweetness in here. So just pour it right in at the end before you have your guests there and before you are ready to serve and you are ready to go. I mean, bubbles around the holidays, I think they are a must. This punch is so delicious. It doesn't matter if it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, or a special day. It is perfect. And I know your family is gonna love it. Have it ready to go so when people come, they can just pour a glass and just walk around and enjoy the holiday. I can't wait to hear how all your Thanksgivings are and what traditions you like to have. If you like this video, make sure to click like below. And if you wanna become part of the Great Boxwood family and be up to date on all of our videos, click subscribe. I love to hear from you guys and I hope you have a wonderful and family-filled Thanksgiving.